Hello viewers, today we are going to discuss on the technical compositions of Kathak comprising its nritya parts based on Tintal. These technical compositions are said to have evolved during the Mughal period when abstract gestures along with musical notes were more encouraged by the Muslim patrons rather than those religious items which used to be the soul of Kathak dancing. For Tintal, we can decrypt Tintal literally according to an age-old treatise called Mridanga Sagar as Tri Deva Samayukta Tala Tala Pratishthita Brahma Vishnu Shivadi Sang Riddhi Siddhi Sato Rajo Tamo Gunascha Tritalika. It means the Tal which is established from the combined power of the Trinity, Lord Brahma, Lord Vishnu and Lord Shiva along with the powers of Goddess Lakshmi Riddhi, Goddess Parvati Siddhi and is associated with the supernatural qualities like Sato, Sattvic which is full of light, Rajo that is Rajasik which is in the transition of light and darkness and Tamo which is Tamasik which is the complete darkness. Thus, Tintal itself occupies the superior position among all the Tals of this universe. The Tal is having 16 bits in its complete cycle called Avartan and the Theka can be read as Dha, Dhin, Dhin, Dha, Dha, Dhin, Dhin, Dha, Dha, Tin, Tin, Ta, Ta, Dhin, Dhin, Dha, Dha. We start with Tukra. Tukra is a Hindi word. As the term itself denotes that it means kisi cheej ka tukra or a piece of something, a portion or a fragment of a complete thing. So, these are the compositions which are shorter in length and can be considered to be a part of certain bigger compositions. So, tukra are of various types depending on the kinds of syllables they hold. Since the kind of syllables come into the Kathak world from various musical instruments, from the sounds of nature, from the musical notes. So, the variety of tukras are also enormous and they cover a very wide range of the Kathak repertoire and the most part of its nritta. Tukras in Jaipur Gharana are rather called Toras. Kisi cheez ki tor se mili gai. That is something obtained from the breakage of a whole thing. So, somehow Tora and Tukra are similar. Their length and the syllables they hold are also similar. But only Tora term is widely used in the Jaipur Gharana while Tukra is widely used in Lucknow Gharana. Further, based on the types of syllables of Tukra, they are categorized into four main divisions as Natvadi ka Tukra, Sangeet ka Tukra, Nritya ka Tukra and Parmelu ka Tukra. Such kind of categorizations are not used in Jaipur. Natvadi ka Tukra. These are certain special compositions which are having syllables like Tat, Thay, Kran, Tigdha, Tigdig. And mostly the syllables are found in pairs like Tat, Tat, Thayya, Thayya, Tigdha, Tigdig, Tigdha, Tigdig. And the gestures are also used in symmetry using both sides of the body, right and left. Natvari is generally placed in the Madhyalay and it has two different levels of lay, first starting with a slow speed and gradually increasing its tempo to a faster one. Natvari Tukra is a concept of Lucknow Gharana and it is said that Natvar 
Lord Krishna used to dance on the hood of the huge serpent Kalia on his victory over Kalia. It was by the behest of Lord Krishna that Ishwari Prashadji, the founder of Lucknow Gharana, was up to preaching this dance form as he used to call it Natvari Kathak Nritya. So, all these compositions related to Lord Krishna or Natvar and his dance is termed as Natvari Tukra. For Natvari, as I have told you, the movements are used showing symmetry from right and left. So, the movements are basically Tat Tat then Tig Dha Dig Dig Tig Dha Dig Dig the chakar with the tatkar fit Ek Do Teen Char Ek Do Teen Char is used for Tig Dha Dig Dig Tig Dha Dig Dig we use Kran in this manner Kran you see the jump with Kran and the movements like Theya 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 Kran as you will find in the dancing of Natvari. Katukra. Nritya Katukra means the composition having sounds from the dance. It can represent the sound which can be imitated while we get them from the stamping feet of a dance form. So, they basically have tat, the, tig, da, dig, dig, all these kind of syllables into them. Nritya Katukra is very interesting and covers a wide range of rhythmic patterns, a wide range of permutations and combinations of these syllables. Nritika Tukra can be started from any matra of atals, avartan and can attain the sum. Again, several numerous spins are added to the end part of Nritika Tukra very often to create some effect of chamatkars or some amazing effect as we can find in Kathak mostly. For Nritya Katukra, you find bowls of various patterns like Tigdha, Tigdha, Thay, Tigdha, Dig, Dig, Thay, Tigdha, Tigdha, Thay, Tigdha, Dig, Dig, Thay. 
the fit goes with tigtha tigtha the again tigtha tigtha from left tigtha dig dig the in between we use also the syllables like tat tat the tat tat the and tig tha dig dig the these are certain movements tig tha dig dig the ta the ta ta the a the ta ta the the ta the ta the and so many spins are also attached at the end of these compositions we call them multiple spins which can be from a single point going on like ek do teen char or we can use the whole stage revolving from starting from this point and spinning on our own axis and go on like ek do teen char panch che sat aat no das like this so nirta katukra with tigdha dig dig the tat tat ta the tigdha tigdha the tat tat the whatever ta the ta ta the a the ta ta the all these movements are being used <laughs> now let us take up parmelu ka tukra par melu par denoting sounds of various kinds which is derived from various musical instruments sounds of nature musical notes etc and melu is the mixing of all these sounds which are winded up together to give a definite composition we call parmelu the syllables produce a huge variety in both the gharanas in jaipur they even pick up some ancient sounds from so many ancient works connected to ancient traditions and they could mean something during those periods which are still unknown to us 
those syllables are exactly found in present day's Taipur Gharana's Parmelu. So, the repertoire of Jaipur's Parmelu is huge. They have cluster of syllables in a very small meter of time. They are very clumsy and very challenging to pronounce as well as very challenging to be executed by the body movements. Rather, in Lucknow, we find the Parmelu to be simpler and also the mixing of the syllables is restrained. Like the Parmelu Dittam Dittam and the Parmelu Tagnagadharri Kukku Tagatag will never interchange their syllables with each other. Parmelu Tat Tat Tad Rakadandan, you find these movements. Tat Tat Ta Trakadandan Ji Ji Khit Tho. I'll show you Trakadandan. It's Tat Tat Ta Trakadandan. Ji Ji Khit Tho. And Thurang. Find out Thurang. Thurang. Tak Thun Tak. Tak Thun Tak. Tak Thun Tak. In Thurang jump, it is associated with this hand movements and it goes like Thurang Tak Thun Tak Tigdha Dig Dig Thay. Today, it is very difficult to relate Sangeet Ka Tukra with its name because only one composition is found in Lucknow Gharana Kathak like Dig 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 Thay, Ta Thay Ta Thay, Thay Ta Tho and a very few compositions are found in Jaipur like Ta Thung, Tak Tak Thung, Tak Dig Thung, Tak. Now how these syllables are being related to the notes of Sangeet is quite difficult to understand. We come to Paran. These are the technical compositions based on the syllables of Pakhavaj. Like Tav, Thung, Dhikit, Dhagin, Nar, Gad, Gadigin, Dhit, Dhit, Dhagitit. The movements, they should be broad and very heavy. In Lucknow, they rather focus on the lining, the curves and the expression keeping them within a limit of speed while Jaipur focus more on the tayari or the mastery of an artist which they find in the speed, in the execution of speed. Parans in Lucknow are mostly danced in the Drutlai but in Jaipur the Lamchar Paran or the lengthy compositions as they are called Lamchar Paran are found to be danced even in the Bilambit Lai. They are even sometimes given names which are oriented with the subject like Top Paran, Gaj Paran, Durga Paran, Ganesh Paran, Shivatandav Paran each having its own expressions. The syllables used are very much thought over and are oriented definitely with the subject. For Paran, 
there are several compositions. We we'll start with a very common composition of dha ta ka thunga. Now the syllables are gestured gestured by these movements. Dha ta ka thunga. Again, you pay attention to my fit. It's dha ta ka thunga, and the body is tilted backwards at ga. It comes with dha ta ka thum ga. Then dha ge di ga ta. Dha then ta. Dhe ta ki ta dha ta ka thum ga. Please see ta ka thum ga. It's ta ka thum ga. Ta ki ta ta ka and Pite kata gadi ghina. These are the movements used to gesticulate the syllables of dhata kathunga. This another paran, dhana dha dhagina dha. The movements are a bit unusual. It starts with dhana dha. Now the body is tilted in front with the right leg. Putting in front, dha, in dha. We lift the left and we go like dha na dha. So it's dha na dha, dha na dha, and dha gi na dha. Kat ta dha. It's kat ta dha. Kat ta dha, ghin ta dha. It's ghin ta dha. After kat ta dha, ghin ta dha. Ta ki ta dha. Nadha. move to tihai these are certain compositions which are found with three identical parts starting from some and finishing on some covering two three or even more avartans of a tal having a gap in between the three fragments will make the tihai damdar while having no gaps in between each of these fragments will make the tihai bedamdar as we call them tam that is putting up the gap bedam that is without the gap tihais can be chakradars also it means the three cycles again repeated thrice forms the chakradar of a tihai nowadays tihais have made a very special position in the kathak repertoire and they stand as a complete different chapter the credit goes to pandit birju maharaj who has given a very big opening to this world of tihai maharaj ji has put tihai into numbers uttering them in numericals he has used syllables of various musical instruments he has used syllables of dance and has made a huge world of tihai the tihai with numericals are called ginti ki tihai 
even according to his ideas and teaching tihais are being portrayed in the abhinaya part of kathak taking up a tihai and putting a bhav on it or a abhinaya on it giving it a complete story line is so beautifully executed by him <laughs> We come to the footwork part. Footwork or patterns of tatkar are shown with various kinds of compositions. We call them lari, lai bant, bol bant, tatkar ke bant. In today's episode, I shall show you the footwork that is a tatkar ki bant, and it is having the syllable tik da tik 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 da tik tik ta ta ta. and tik da tik 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 da tik tik dha ta dha ta so viewers i think i have shared my views with you successfully and you have understood them properly so i hope you carry your views and you take mine and you have your own development thank you <laughs>